How many of you here? I'm mean, sorry. Uh, how many of you here have taken an arts class in high school? And how many of you enjoyed it? Okay. So my topic today, what I'm going to talk about is going to be uh, arts education and the the budget cuts that are going to be affecting you know schools and students. So arts education is really important because you know it. From what I'm going to cover up, it's going to it actually uh, helps students' uh, academic performance, and not only is that a benefit, it also helps them grow, develop themselves as a person. You know that's where they find themselves and they can express themselves. But recently, there's been like a budget, uh, sorry, a couple of budget cuts, and it's uh, it's affecting not only um, middle class, elementary and middle schools and high schools, but it's going to be affecting the low income community and the and their schools. And however, but there is solutions to like, you know, uh, stop the budget cuts. Not completely, but it will help the, the increase of budget cuts. So for my main, so what I'm going to be covering is the budget cuts, <coughs> the benefits of arts education, and the solutions to prevent any more budget cuts. So. Some of the benefits is academic performance. You know, um, it, so students uh, who usually don't take the arts education class, um, they, they don't really engage their work because you know they uh, they make they might struggle or they might not even find it um, interesting. In May 14, 2005, a study by Valeria Melta, uh, she did a study that 91. 91, oh sorry, 91 point higher students, sorry, uh, students score a 91 point higher score in the SATs compared to uh, students who actually don't even take at all, like no uh, arts education classes. And uh, which in the same article, she did a study where it shows that 33% of children most likely are visual learners. Okay. But besides the whole uh, academics, what it does to them, what, it make, what kind of impact it makes on an individual is that it allows them to develop critical thinking and, you know, they start, uh, it causes cultural awareness. You know, a lot, of, a, lot of, uh, a lot of us are just, you know, in communities where, you know, there's Latino or there's a mix of Latino and African, but what the arts does is that it brings people together and through, like, collaboration, that's where a lot of us start seeing that there's there's something. There's more beyond. You know, we uh, we started noticing that. You know, uh, we we noticed that outside of our community, and it it helps us all connect. And uh, you can probably spot me right there uh, through the UCLA intensive tip that I took. Um, honestly, uh, my experience, uh, I I didn't think I was gonna get along with anybody. <coughs> Why? Because you know I came from East Los Angeles. I never really uh, been around. Uh, you know, maybe Asians or uh, white people, and then through this intensive, you know, it actually changed like my whole perspective about everybody, because that's where you know I created uh, cultural awareness, and I know I saw how you know everyone there we're all different colors, but and we come from this different backgrounds, but we all had something in common, and we shared a connection, which was through dance. Some may shared through music or ETC, you know, um, drama. So what I'm gonna be covering now is uh, the budget cuts. So in November 12, 2002, uh, A. Flores conducted a study that shows 76% cuts are, are, in five years are gonna be six, 76 cuts of um, arts education and that uh, Soon, pretty soon that, pretty soon, there's gonna be at least 2,702 kindergartens that won't receive like a complete education, besides like the arts education. And uh, what it does is that, you know, besides, uh, besides you know, our programs in, in like elementary or middle schools and low income classes, not only they're gonna lose those programs, but they may be, they'll may, they'll might lose their own school because 
There's no funding for it. But there is hope. In an article by resource, same resource, uh, Valeria, in May 14, 2015, there was an organization of, that was developed called the National Coalition for the Core Arts Standards. And what exactly this program does is, uh, so the school board wants to take rid of, get rid of uh, art programs because they feel like it's not a benefit. They're just wasting money on teachers. So, you know, they're gonna try to take it away, but LUSD is like, yo, hold up, son. Like, let me show you how important these art programs are. So what they do is, in all the uh, middle schools, elementary, high schools, they collect all the data of students who do take art program classes, and like I mentioned in the in the benefits, uh, how there there is there is an increase in SAT scores and in their academic performance. So that's their that's their goal. That's what they do. They have to prove to the school board that the arts education is a benefit to a student's um, academic performance and in themselves. But not only, sorry, <laughs> like, not only is, uh, is this organization helping, but there's a lot of parents who, uh, they really care about their, their kids' uh, education, so what they do is they, they you know, they uh, protest or they create um, fundraisers um, to, to be able to have their kids to have that experience of arts education. So, I talked about uh, the benefits of arts education and how it has an impact on a person's uh, academic performance and as well as their individuality. And the uh, budget cuts that have been occurring recently and as well as the solutions that there are to stop the budget cuts. And what I want to leave you guys off with is that for within your high school years, I highly encourage you to maybe take a music class or a dance class, any kind of art form class, and really try to do, try to try to spend good time time through that class. And you know, sometimes you can find yourself, sometimes you can't. But um, I, but from my experience, it honestly made an impact in my life. And up to this day, I use it every day where I go. If I'm in the store. Dance there, or I'm at work. You can see me. I'm making drinks and I dance there. So, like, literally, it takes. It, I take it everywhere because it's part of me, and who knows? It might be part of you guys. Thank you.